Today's a really exciting day because it's new sock cast on day. My absolute favorite thing in the world is to cast on a new pair of socks. And I've had this idea for this particular design percolating in my head for a couple of days, but I haven't had a chance to sit down and work on it yet until today. But today's the day I get to gather the yarn, cast on, and I get to see if this idea that I have in my head is actually going to turn into something awesome. My idea is that I want to release a free pattern on leap day. It's a leap year this year. We have an extra day, a February 29th, which only shows up once every four years. And for whatever reason, that just feels really exciting. So I wanna release a free pattern on leap day. That's the design that we're gonna be working on. I'm gonna take you through the whole process from start to finish, and we're gonna see if this ends up being a really cool sock that I wanna release out into the world and share with all of you. So busy week ahead, so stay tuned, and we'll get started on this sock design. let's get started on these socks. First, we're going to talk about the idea. So I was inspired by retro gym socks. I love the stripes, but I wanted to kind of take it a step further. So I've got these awesome, awesome little gym socks. These are kind of where we're starting from. We like the ribbing. We like the stripes. One thing I really love about these socks is the folded cuff. I like that it's got a tabbed cuff. So we're gonna do that. My initial thought is that we're gonna start out with one by one ribbing, we're gonna fold that over, and then we're gonna switch to three by one ribbing for the leg of the sock. And instead of just having this kind of classic setup with the thick stripe bracketed by thinner stripes in a different color, I want stripes, like colorful stripes, all the way down the leg, and then switching to the white, white for the foot of the sock. So that's kind of my idea. We're gonna see if that works. Um, this is going to be a free pattern. I am releasing this pattern on leap day, February 29th. All right, so this is gonna be a free pattern. Um, I'm releasing it on leap day. We get a leap day this year. I love that, that's so exciting. So this will be a free pattern. And I know some of you are like, Summer, I absolutely hate knitting ribbing. And I get that, I understand it, I do. I've actually come to love Knitting ribbing though, I used to hate it and then I kind of forced myself to do it because ribbed socks are the best. They fit so well, they're so comfortable, they're so much fun to knit. So I've kind of gotten to where I really enjoy knitting ribbed socks. For a new sock knitter, ribbing is really great practice. There's something about switching between knits and purls repetitively. It really kind of helps build muscle memory in your fingers and you start getting better and better. Your stitches become more even and straight. Your tension tightens up a little bit. So if you're a newer sock knitter, this is going to be a great pattern for you to really get some good practice in. For those of us who are more experienced, it's just fun. I love knitting striped ribbed socks. There's just something really fun about it. You can zone out and watch movies and shows, listen to audiobooks, have conversations with friends. It's a really great relaxing knit. So we know what we're doing now. We know we want a kind of retro style gym sock. We know we want lots of colorful stripes and a folded cuff. So now let's get started. Now the fun part, we get to actually gather our yarn. I'm gonna be knitting with tonals for this, but you could absolutely use speckled or variegated yarn for your stripes, however you wanna do it. Um, so yeah, let's get our yarn and then we can cast on. Okay, so now it's time for one of my favorite parts of the design process, and that is selecting the colors. I went shopping in my yarn closet for a lot of different tonals, and now I'm just gonna spread them out on the floor and kind of start mixing and matching and seeing what I want my color palette for these socks to look like.
All right, I've arranged all of my colors by color family, so now I can actually kind of start mixing and matching and seeing how different colors look good together. I'm kind of after like unexpected combinations, so we'll see what we come up with. All right, so I've got my color palette set and now I'm finally ready to cast on, but now I'm like second guessing my design choice. Initially, I wanted to do a one by one rib and then fold that over and then switch to three by four ribbing, but now I think that would just look stupid. <laughs> so I'm gonna start with a three by four ribbing Fold that over, see how it looks. We're gonna try that. Um, I've got all of my colors in my little basket. For the body of the sock, I'm gonna be using um, Lang Jawal. This is, but it's just a basic cream. I'm gonna be using that for the body of the sock and there is gonna be some cream stripes in the leg as well. But I think I'm gonna start with red and pink. <laughs> this is, my favorite color combination of all time. So I feel like I need to push myself more this year and to stop using red and pink so much, but today is not that day. This is the, these are the leap day socks. These are magic socks. So I feel like it's okay to stick to things that you love and to stick to things that bring you comfort. So I'm gonna go ahead and cast on. Be advised, I might be ripping back. <laughs> All right, so now I'm ready to cast on. But who knows, by the end of this video, this could end up being a color work sock with completely different stitch counts. That's happened before. I start out with one idea and then go in a completely different direction. So we'll see, let's cast on. Before I cast on, it's lunchtime. <laughs> I realized I was like super hungry. I spent the whole morning like trying to find the perfect yarn, kind of redoing my pattern in my head. And then I had some cleaning to do. And so then it was like, I was ready to cast on and I was so excited, but then I just, I need to eat, I'm hungry. So we're gonna eat, then we're gonna cast on. I know that people like to make fun of British cooking, but I will tell you, they were totally right about beans and toast. Like, I feel like I'm made of beans and toast. That is like all that I wanna eat. There's beans underneath this Parmesan. <laughs> There's like a giant pile of Parmesan, but underneath that parm are like these delicious, like great Northern beans and like this tomato sauce that Dave made. So yeah, make fun of British cooking all you want, but they were totally right about beans on toast. Like, it makes me want to try other British cuisine, so. <laughs> All right, I'm only like a little bit into into the cuff here. Um, and I'm starting to doubt the three by one ribbing. I don't know. I don't know if, it, if it's a bad idea. And the problem is I need to see more of it to like really know. So I've got to just keep knitting, but I'm having my doubt. And, and this is very common. I think probably most of my designs, um, pretty much anything I knit, I doubt it like in the beginning. And then a lot of times the doubt goes away. Sometimes, occasionally, I'll design something where right away, like as soon as I start knitting it, I'm just like, mm, this is great. But most of the time, no, it's a complete doubt fest. Like I doubt everything, so we'll see. Okay, so mistakes have already been made. <laughs> I'm um, working on the cuff, and like I said, it's a folded tabbed cuff, but I've knit it too long. I wanted there to be, um, so yeah, here's, I wanted there to be a cute little pink stripe kind of in the middle of the tab cuffed, but I waited too long to put the stripe in. And so whenever I fold it, um, that cuff is just, it's just way too fat. Um, and the stripe is not in the right spot. Also, I did the pink stripe, like I did a little two row stripe. And I think that that's too, it needs to be thicker. I need a three row pink stripe. So I need to rip back um, 
quite a ways. <laughs> I need to go probably back here and then do the pink stripe somewhere in here instead of having it be all the way down there. And that looks ridiculous. So yeah, already, already ripping back and I'm not even like past the cuff. Okay, I ripped back and then re-knit and I think I've got it now. I think, I think my cuff is done and I'm ready to knit this together and then keep going on the leg. Um, I'm still not sure about the three by one ribbing. I just don't know. Um, but unfortunately I have to knit more to like be sure. So I don't know. I may end up ripping all of this out before the night's over and completely starting over with a different ribbing. But for now, at least I definitely feel like that is the cutest cuff ever. And I'm excited to knit it together and then keep going on the leg. But for now, I'm going to take a really quick walk. It's 80 degrees in February today. So I'm going to go outside, get some sunshine, get a little exercise, then come back and knit this cuff together. I got a lot of knitting on the leg of my sock done last night. So I'm back for day two of knitting my free leap day pattern, my retro gym sock, and I'm feeling good about it. Um, I had a lot of doubts yesterday. I had doubts about the ribbing. I had doubts about the folded cuff. I just had doubts about myself <laughs> as a person, um, which to be fair, I always have doubts about myself as a person. Um, it just seems like there's always some new problem to work on. Like you get a handle on this anxiety and then this other problem pops up and then you got to deal with that. So um, anyways, the doubts today are like way less. Um, I'm feeling good. So here's where we're at. I've got all of these colors in so far. My red and my pink. Love the green and gold. That's very retro. Oh my God, my phone. That scared the crap out of me. <laughs> mm, anyways, so yeah, it's looking really good. Really, really love the color palette that I've chosen so far. I'm not going to be ripping any of that back. Um, and I'm really excited for the next color in the stripe pattern. So my plan is to keep knitting colorful stripes um, all down the leg. And then once I'm done with the leg, I will just do the solid like off white for the foot. And then um, I'm not sure about the heel and toe yet. I'm still thinking about that, but that's where we're at. That's the progress we're on. I would love to finish the foot by today. Um, I just time wise, that would really help me out tomorrow. I'm going to be in the car like all freaking day. We're driving four hours to McKinney, Texas for a book signing. I have to be there at one and I have to leave early enough so I can eat in and out burger for lunch. For those of you who live in States that have in and out burger, like I hate you so much. <laughs> I'm so jealous. I don't really hate you. I'm just really really jealous of you because I love In-N-Out Burger and we don't have them in Oklahoma. So we're going to leave at like 7 a.m. so we can get to Texas in time to like leisurely scarf down a bunch of In-N-Out and then go to the book signing from one to three. And then my son has a band performance. Like he's in this rock band program at his school. So they're performing at the Canes Ballroom, which is one of like the top music venues in the country. It's here in Tulsa. It's legendary. It is going to be a long day and I'll be knitting in the car some, but I get sick when I knit in the car too much. I get car sick. So I don't know. I really need to move fast. So I'm going to do my best to like try and finish this sock today. Don't know if it's going to happen, but we're going to try. It's like seven o'clock in the morning and we are on our, about to be on our way to McKinney Knittery. Um, I did not 
I did not finish my sock yesterday. <laughs> I got uh, I got pretty far um, down the foot, but as you can see, I still have to go probably another three inches from my marker. Whenever you do an afterthought heel, you measure from the marker that you put um, where your heel's gonna go. Oh, I can't talk this morning. I'm a little tired. Um, anyways, so I'm going to work on it today in the car while we're on our way four hours to the McKinney Knittery to do my book signing. Um, I'm excited, but I also have anxiety. Like, obviously there's just normal anxiety about being in a room with a lot of people I don't know and just feeling worried like, ah, oh, what if I don't meet their expectations or what if they don't like me? What if I look stupid? What if I say something stupid? And then I have anxiety about just being away from my kids and just, you know, being on the road. Like that's a little scary for me. Um, I always get a little bit scared leaving home. <laughs> but um, Dave's loading up the car. He's putting spare books in there in case we need them. Um, but I read this cool thing a while back that said, you know, imagine that you're 80 and you wake up and you get to be the age that you are now again just for a day and like that kind of helps shift your perspective that like yes I'm a little bit scared and a little bit anxious but if I were 80 and I woke up today and got to do this day again like it would just be so exciting so yeah even though I'm anxious and scared that's what we're gonna do so we're gonna get on the road and I will keep working on my sock and hopefully I can finish the foot I just finished up my signing. It was a lot of fun. I just want to highlight this amazing chicken. Someone brought me this really cute emotional support chicken and I love it so much and I cannot wait to take it home and put it in its rightful spot in my dining room. But this was such a fun day. So many knitters came through and I've talked about this before that I don't know that many knitters or any knitters in like real life. So it was so fun at the signing, getting to talk to everyone and see their socks and talk about sock knitting. It was just a really good day. And this is just a great yarn store. And yeah, I had a lot of fun. All right, we are about an hour and 45 minutes from home. I've made not very good progress on my sock today. <laughs> I still have like an inch and a half to go. It's noisy on the highway. Um, I still have an inch and a half to go. I really wanna finish it tonight. I don't know if that's gonna happen. I'm pretty wiped from all the driving and then we've still got another thing to do tonight. My son's band is playing a show and so um, I don't know if I'm gonna finish it, but I'm gonna try. I still have to do the toes, the heel, the toe, the heel and then another inch and a half of the foot. So we'll see. All right, it is day four of my mission to knit this pair of leap day socks and I am so behind. <laughs> um, yesterday, you know, I was traveling all day, had events. I don't know if you can hear it in my voice. I'm so tired. That was, that was rough. Like it was so much fun. Loved both the things that I did, the book signing in McKinney and then my son's band performance later that night. It was just, I'm 43, I can't do two exciting things in one day <laughs> without serious consequences. So it's a rough start this morning. I think it's like almost 11 and I haven't knit anything. I've um, gone on a walk and I've like gotten ready. So I feel kind of like a person 
Um, but that's as far as we've gotten today. So I wanted to show you my sock project. I do have the foot done. So we've got the leg, we've got the foot. So I'll be able to pop in the heel and do the toe pretty quickly. And then I can get started on the second sock. But before I do that, I did want to show you my yarn haul from yesterday because it's a good one. Okay, let's open this bag and see what's inside. So the thing that I'm most excited about from this yarn haul is this. So I got this yesterday at the McKinney Knittery. Hold it sideways. So this is La Bien Ami. Um, This first one is very fluorescent neon. This is her Merino Super Sock, and it is in the color Buzz, and it's this beautiful neon. And I, I don't know what I'm, I don't know what I'm doing. Like I, I don't know what I'm gonna do, but I know I want to pair it with this Surrey Alpaca Silk Blend. Um, and this is just in like a, it's called Kumo. It's just a really pretty cream. So I'm going to knit these together somehow. I don't know what I'm doing yet, but I know it's going to be good. I don't know why. I just, when I saw them in the store, I just thought this neon yellow paired with this cream Surrey would look so good. So that's my first exciting thing. Um, second exciting thing is this spin cycle. This is spin cycle dyed in the wool. This color is levitate. It's a sport weight yarn. And so I got some Lobby Enemy um, Sport Weight Merino Sport to pair with it. Also don't know what I'm doing. I'm thinking color work for this one, like a really cool sport weight, color what, color, color weight. <laughs> a really cool sport weight color work sock, I think, is going to be my plan for this particular pairing. Um, gosh, it's so good. That's so good. Oh my God, I can hardly talk this morning. <laughs> like, I remember being in my 20s and like I could stay up late reading a book, you know. Um, I could be out. I didn't go out a lot in my 20s. I wasn't cool. Um, so for the most part, I just stayed up late reading books. But occasionally, my husband used to play in bands. And so we'd be out late if he was playing a show somewhere. And I could just get up the next day, like, eat a Totino's 99 cent oven pizza, and then just be fine. 43 is not the same. <laughs> we got home at like 11. It's not like we were out that late, but it was just a full day. It was like, you know, eight hours of driving, the book signing, meeting everybody, which was awesome. Like, I don't know any knitters in real life or not that many. And so it was just Normally, I'm nervous in big crowds of people that I don't know, but it was like different being surrounded by strangers who were also knitters and sock knitters on top of that. It was just, oh, it's hard to explain. It was amazing. Um, but man, today I am super tired. So I'm going to put this yarn back where it goes, and then I'm going to start working on the toe and on the heel and hopefully, hopefully I'll get this sock finished quickly so that I can start on the second one. Let's go. All right, I finished knitting the toe. Cute. Um, so now I just have to Kitchener stitch it um, close together and then I'm done with the toe. I have a heel opening now. I always think these look really cute. Like it looks like a little puppet. <laughs> like once you snip the stitch um, to create an opening for your afterthought heel. So that's all I have left to do is just pop this heel in, knit the heel, and then I can start working on the next sock. Stop watching me. <laughs> it's hard filming vlogs when you live with people because like they're just doing their thing and you're over here filming yourself and they're just watching you. And it's it's embarrassing. <laughs> Anyways, I'm going to go ahead and knit the little heel and then I'll be done with this first sock and then I can start knitting the second one. Here is a little tip for you when you're knitting an afterthought heel. Um, a lot of people complain that afterthought heels are too tight, like they don't fit really well, um, especially if you have a higher instep. 
I have a high instep too. And so what I do is just give myself more room in my afterthought heel. And you can do that by just knitting some plain knit rounds before you begin the decreases. And that's what I'm doing here. I usually knit three plain knit rounds before I start doing the decreases for the heel. And that gives my heel a lot, heel, hill. <laughs> Another word that I have trouble with in addition to drawer is heel apparently. Knitting more knit rounds before you start the decreases gives you more room in your heel so that it's not quite so tight. All right, I managed to finish the heel. So now this sock is completely done and it's ready for a bath. The time is currently 4.37 on day four. <laughs> so it took me four days to knit this sock. Granted, I had other stuff going on, but I would have liked to have finished it two days ago. So <laughs> I'm gonna get busy. Um, I'm gonna put this in the bath. I'm gonna get it blocked. And I'm going to start working on the second sock. Okay, so it is now day five, I think, of me designing this free sock pattern. I finished my sock yesterday, I blocked it, and I was having doubts. I was looking at it like, hmm. So this morning I tried it on and I hate it. <laughs> this happens sometimes, you know? Sometimes you can't tell um, if a sock looks good or if a design is good until it's done and you put it blocked and on your foot. Sometimes you can tell a lot sooner than that and it's great, you can rip back, start over. But in this case, I was actually really liking it until I finished it and then I was kind of like, mm. and so I went ahead and blocked it, tried it on this morning and I hate it. So here's the finished sock. Um, That's what we're working with, and here are the problems with it. Um, I hate this folded cuff. It's not stable enough, so it doesn't like wanna stay up. It's kind of loose around my calf. Um, I started my heel too soon. I should have knit more white. Um, had it go white longer before starting the heel. And these colors, like, I don't know. I mean, I liked them at first, but now I really don't. And when I see it on my foot, especially, which I will show you what it looks like on the foot, I really, I just don't like it at all. <laughs> I just don't like it. So I'm gonna show you what it looks like on my foot. And then we're going to start over <laughs> because I really wanna do a free pattern for leap day. Um, time is running out, but I think, I think I can still make it. So. Let me show you what it looks like on the foot. Okay, so this is what it looks like on, and I don't know, like you can kind of see like how loose that is. You know what I mean? Um, don't love the colors. And then the way that this stripe is so close to the heel. I feel like there should have at least been another inch of white before I started the heel. And I don't know, I just don't feel like the colors look that good. And I know there might be some of you who are like, Summer, I really like that sock. <laughs> I'm not saying I won't try again for that particular idea, the cool retro gym sock. I don't know, this happens. I mean, this is not, this is something that happens quite often actually, that I have an idea, I start knitting it. A lot of times I realize I don't like it a lot sooner like I don't have to finish the whole sock to realize oh that's terrible but in this case that's what happened I had to finish the whole sock and yeah it's just very meh like oh I don't know like the more I look at it the more I'm like oh I really hate that <laughs> I really hate that sock and um yeah so I'm not mad at myself. I'm not upset about the time that I spent because it's all learning, right? Like even whenever you do something and it turns out you hate it, 
it wasn't a loss. You learned a lot while you were knitting this. You learned things about yourself. You learned things about knitting. You got knitting practice in. You learned things about color. Um, so it's still a learning opportunity for me. And I always like the opportunity to make things better. And now I'm excited to start again <laughs> and come up with something that I really love and that I hope everyone else is gonna love too. Today should be interesting. We're gonna start over. I'm going to take you along, of course, and show you what starting over looks like. And hopefully I'll come up with something that looks a lot better and that fits a lot better and that you're going to enjoy knitting a lot more. So let's get started again.